Are you ready to try some low-carb, storm-bought tortillas? I know I am. Hey everyone, it's me, Katie Beth again. And today, as I said last Tuesday on the video about... What, did, what was the Tuesday's video? Oh, I was trying to make keto tortillas. Um, cooking keto tortillas yourself from scratch really sucks. So I've gotten my hands on a hold of different low-carb tortilla options, and I want to try them out today against each other in a quesadilla test. Is it quesadilla or quesodilla? Gryffindorable Fox, I know you're really big on Spanish accents. Which one is it? Anyhow, I got all these low-carb and keto tortilla options to try and the quesadilla off against each other. Let's see. First, we got the LF. Ah, the lovely, fresh, keto-friendly tortillas. I'm actually pretty excited about this one. They look very grainy and healthy. Generally, when I see grainy, healthy things, I think like, oh, that'll be a grainy and tasty. Um, although since it says keto, I'm not really sure. As I've talked about with keto bread and some other keto things, I think the way you lose weight is that it doesn't have the delicious taste of bread that you want to keep eating. So you'll have like one slice and be like, ah, I'm good. And so you don't keep binging. So we have the Aldi Lovely Fresh Keto Friendly Original Tortillas. These are kind of like normal little taco size. Not the tiny tacos, but the normal size taco shells. Um, they are nine grams total carbs, but six of them are fiber. So they're about three net carbs in each tortilla and 60 calories. Let's compare that to the Mr. Tortilla one net carb tortillas. They have three grams of carbohydrates, but two of those are fiber, so they only count it as one. And they're only 15 calories, but they are this big as compared to normal size taco tortillas. So I'd say you need like two or three of these to equal a normal size taco shell. So you're still cutting some calories. And I have actually tasted these already, and they're not bad. Next is option similar tortillas, but a little different. We have the zero net carb egg wraps from Aldi also. Crickanini? Crepanini? Crepanini brand? Not really sure what that is. I think it's Crepanini. But these are 30 calories for an entire large size tortilla and zero carbohydrates. So not even like the net carb thing, it's just zero carbs. And three grams of protein because they're eggs. So the next option, just because it's a different option I picked this, but it is kind of high in carbs on the carb area. We have the quinoa wraps. So two of these tortillas is going to be 27 carbs. So 27 divided by two, it's like 13.5, is that, that doesn't even make sense. 14, so each one of these has 14 total carbs, two of those are fiber, so 12 carbs for one of these large sized tortillas, but they are pretty thin. Like they're a little on the paper thin side when you actually get to it. And they're also 70 calories per large tortilla, which for a normal large tortilla, I think is at least 90. So you're still saving some calories. And lastly, I'm super impressed with these, just the mission carb balance. So for the whole tortilla is 70 calories and 18 carbs but 15 of those are fiber. So if you're on the keto diet, that's only three grams of carbs for an entire tortilla. And I haven't tried these yet, but they look the closest thing to the satisfaction you're going to get from a normal tor tortilla with your normal Mexican food. Okay, so now that I have all these out, let's just do a little nibble test in comparison to each other. 
It's a mashed in tortilla. Yeah, it tastes like a tortilla. This is, oh my gosh, this is kind of my favorite. Yeah, I would definitely rather have one of these versus three of these tiny little ones for the same amount of carbs. Calories are a little higher, but mmm. So let me try one of these little babies. And the Mr. Tortilla ones really aren't bad either. They just taste like little wheat tortillas. But they are really thin. And I did make taco shells out of them the other night. And I just put, and I just made them with pulled pork. And they actually were pretty delicious. But again, something about the keto tortillas really keeps me from binging. Like, I normally eat 12 tacos. And I think I ate like four, maybe five with these. It just really doesn't have that binge additive. But actually, these do not taste bad at all. Um, there is a huge price difference, though. I got these at Target, so they're easy to find, and I think they were like three-something. And these I could only find online, and they were $4.99 plus $4.99 for shipping, or 4 bucks. I did get a coupon for them when I added it to my basket in my email and didn't buy them for two weeks. They started sending me coupons. So this one bag of 24 with like 20 or 25% off, I was able to get for, I think, eight or nine dollars, but for this one bag. I guess not too expensive since there's 24. It's just really hard to get because you have to order them and wait a few days in the mail. So these are not bad. But since these guys are an option, I really just don't know if I'm going to go back to ordering tortillas in the mail. Okay, so the quinoa ones, which are not as low carb as everything else, but I feel like it's still a good option because it is still like half the carbs of normal tortillas. It tastes like a very thin cracker. And it's a little powdery too. Like there's like a powder on it. Also, I've watched my boyfriend try to eat these, and he still normally doubles them up because they're so thin and brittle. When he puts all his stuff in, uh, he's just doubling them up, and I feel like that seems like a good reason because they're so thin. Reason two. They're really thin, and so <laughs> I think that's why he doubles them up. Mm. This is definitely going to be my carb cheat day. Even though these are low carb, I just am tasting them all. And sorry for talking with my mouth full. So these are the keto friendly three net carbs. So about the same amount of carbs and calories as the mission low carb balance. Hmm. This actually tastes kind of sweet. What's in it? Almond. That's why it tastes sweet. It tastes like almond. Not almond, coconut. So the ingredients for these ones are keto flour mix, which is coconut and cauliflower. Water, olive oil, flaxseed. Ooh. Flaxseed, you want to watch out and not eat too much of it. I read if you're on any type of birth control because it uh, can make your birth control not work. I also read the same thing about sal sa palmento, sal palmento, sa palmento pills, which women can take also because it's great for your hair and nails. But if you are still in the mating range of younger females or female mating range. It does mess with your cycle, the supplemento. I found this out because I thought I would take them for my hair and nails and read a bunch of reviews on how they're good for your skin from older ladies, but I didn't take in consideration that it's older ladies. That it's older ladies who don't have to worry about periods and and so it really messed up my period cycle. Anyway, sorry, that's not at all what this video is about. And lastly, let's try one of these crepe paninis. Tastes like a thin omelet. 
omelet. Omelet. Also, these uh, kind of stick together, so I just noticed that this is actually two crepe beanies. So very egg tasting, but if you just want the idea of a, some type of roll or wrap, these are kind of really cool. Because no carbs, 30 grams of calories, or 30 calories for the whole thing. And you're getting some protein because they're eggs. All right, so let's take these all to the kitchen and see how they cook up with some cheese, because that's honestly what I'm going to be eating them with. And I'm going to make a little quesadilla off and have my roommates try the different ones and see which low-carb tortillas are the best. What do you feel of that is the quinoa? Tortilla. Papery. Papery. Not bad. Okay, grab another. Your camera ready. That is the keto friendly from Aldi. It's a lot of coconut flour. Jason, dig in and tell me on camera what you feel about these. I can tell it's not a not a traditional tortilla. Does it taste healthy? Yeah, it tastes like that, but on the healthier side. Which one do you have, Jason? I don't know. <laughs> it came from right here. That is the quinoa, I think. Let's see. Oh, no, that is the little Mr. Tortilla. The one carb, tiny tortilla. Yeah, that Mr. Tortilla. <laughs> Yeah, that's also a healthy-ish. I thought it tastes like a wheat tortilla. Yeah, on the healthy side. That's one carb? Yeah, one carb, but it's also a tiny tortilla. Hmm. Doable. It could replace a tort flour tortillas. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. So far, the first one tasted thin, but more like a... Keep going. Tortilla. Keep trying. Which one is this? That is the egg one, the crepe. I don't have high expectations for this one. You can smell the egg before you... Does it taste like an omelet? It tastes like an omelet. It's just like a chicken cheese omelet? But it's pretty good for... I mean, it's like an omelet. Like a thin omelet. Okay, and try the Mission Low Carb. It's more like a, a real tortilla, not as thin, but you can tell, I mean, it's not a real tortilla. The way I thought it tasted really real. Yeah. But I've also been eating all these keto things, so. It's more real than um, a wheat tortilla. It's, it's less wheat. Well, it's the same net carbs as the keto friendly one that's mm. all grainy. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Ashley, do you want to jump in and try some? I'll try the low-carb mission one. You have to try all of them. I That's why they're little. I have trouble with cauliflower, and I'm not a big fan of quinoa. So you don't even taste the quinoa. Mmm, mission tortilla. Okay, yum. try the egg one. This one, yeah. Okay, try the egg one. Stop eating all of it and just eat pieces. Yeah, there you go. Just give me the rest of these. <laughs> That's okay, egg, egg, crepe. Mm. You guys can keep eating them if you this want. This tastes eggy. Oh. Which one's this one? That's quinoa. I'm gonna take a bite and then make Mal eat it. It's thinner, right? But it tastes like a real tortilla. I like the crispy tortilla. It's so thin. I think that's why it crisps up so much. I like that though. Try the little one. Well, that one is the uh, keto friendly from Aldi. 
Tastes like a healthy tortilla. Tastes really sweet to me. Mm -hmm. And try the little one. Mm. That's the Mr. Tortilla one net carb. Mm, not bad. Okay, so what is your guys' favorite? The mission. The uh, mission or those ones? Which one? I think the net one carb. The tiny one, the Mr. Tortilla? Yeah. All right. I like the, the mission and then the first one with the papery thin thing. It tasted more. The quinoa? Yeah. Because the quinoa is a little higher carb. It's like 13 yeah, for a tort. It's thin, but more like a real tortilla. Hmm. All right. The mission. Thanks, guys. <laughs> so the census was pretty much all the way around that the mission tortilla one was the best. Let me grab that bag to show everyone. So as far as keto friendly or low carbs, uh, this one per tortilla is only three net carbs. So not bad actually, and it tastes the most like an actual tortilla. I thought you said one carb. No, that's Mr. Tortilla. This is mission tortilla. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a great rest of your day and uh, eat happier. <laughs> this is a great choice. Thanks everyone. Bye. This is bad. Like, I like how this one is like with the crispy okay. shell. Come into my... <laughs> Yeah, come back. <laughs> and then you guys all do my snap thing too. <laughs> okay, thanks.